What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And today I would give you the intro, but I don't think we really know it. Really need that intro today. I got Rich Wade Tiller in the building today. Uh, our first interview we did, over 100,000 views already. He spoke on a lot of things. I think this was one of the strongest interviews I've done so far because uh, we done learned from this situation, I believe, in my opinion. A lot of people have. Now, some people who probably ain't, but, you know, um, I want to start off by saying, how you doing, Rich? I'm decent, Joe, man. I appreciate you having me back for another one, man. No bullshit. Giving me a chance to speak, you know, get my story, get my point across. Most definitely. Um, I want to know something, Rich, since our last interview. I done seen you on a few more other platforms, too. Um, we know about the Steve Harvey. Um, any DMs? Anybody jumped in your messages? Kind of unhappy with anything you might have said? Uh, honestly, the hate actually been down down. Like, you oh, know what yeah. I'm saying? It's been becoming more of a, like, a, a understand thing now. Like, a lot of people really understand it. Me more, they try to, they really understand what I come from, what, like, you know, how I was brought up, the type of people right. I was brought up around. So a lot of people really understand it. Like, they saying, like, okay, his daddy was a game banker. And they understand how I got caught up into the type of stuff that I got caught up in. You know what I'm saying? So it's more, I'm getting a little more love, though, and understanding. So. Right. You, you felt a lot of that hatred, though, early. Oh, yeah. 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 We spoke on that a lot. I ain't gonna lie, though. Do you? You know what, I kind of feel like, you know, your daughter was so young that, you know, the people just, you know, they, they couldn't bear that kind of news. Mm -hmm. But I do think people were extra, extra, extra strong on you a little bit. Yeah. Not saying you ain't deserve it, <laughs> yeah, cause right. you did have a different <laughs> energy at that time. I definitely did, I could, I could agree with you that, know? I definitely did. But. I spoke with a lot of people, older people, that told me shit like that can happen, you know? Mm -hmm. It's how you deal with it after it happens. Mm -hmm. And I think you owned up to it, mm -hmm. you know? How the hood feel about that? Last time I spoke with you, you said it's kind of a little distant and shit. Yeah, um, really, like I, that? yeah I'm really kind of, I'm always distant from the hood right now, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really fucking with the hood. Uh, I done been on too many platforms. You know what I'm saying? My face been too everywhere. Like, right. I'm, I ain't taking it. How I was taking it when I was doing all those goofy live videos and shit. I ain't, it ain't fun no more. It ain't funny. Right. I'm taking everything serious. I'm taking my life serious. You know what I'm saying? So, and I know that there's still hatred out there. And right. I know that these young guys would like to make a name off me. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I distance myself away from the hood and everything that I used to be involved in. Like, not that I don't love a motherfucker or fuck with him. It's just, you know, what I'm trying to do, I really can't, you know, right. involve and associate myself with certain things that, that matter, like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I just been this to myself. So, you are aware that Tiller got a face card? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. I, I done had a face card, no lie, for like 10 years. Like, right. so, you know what I'm saying? No bullshit. Like, right. But it's just different now because, you know, the attention, like, everybody kind of, like, know what the fuck going on. So, Rich, I want to ask you something, and I think this is, this is good for the young people to see this. How do a young man go from shooting basketball, throwing the football, playing it, you know, mm -hmm. to fucking around with the switches, this and the off, like, what the middle, what happened in the middle? Uh, uh, in my situation, um, I believe I was forced to put on some big shoes, like, you know what I'm saying, early, like, um, the guys before me that I grew up running behind, who, who was sending me out, they, we didn't have relationships with those guys, they looked at us like, um, Pawns in the chess game, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. but when I started busting my own moves and doing my own thing, working for myself and giving my brothers, you know, you know what I'm saying, Beano's and people of that nature opportunities, um, I grew a bond with my brother. That's they so young, they younger than me, but I never looked at them like sinners. I never looked at them like pawns. We all kings, you know what I'm saying? On the same in this chess game, so. Okay, you mean sinners? Can I get it? What you mean? By um, like, how you do anything. yeah, like most motherfuckers right. who will give you a, a pack uh, or a gun really don't give a fuck about you. You know what I'm saying? And that's how people treated me. And when I was growing up and my people who I grew up with, like being on them and my little brother and them, they probably 10 years younger than me. Right. You know what I'm saying? But when it was time for me to actually elevate and do my thing, and it's my turn in the streets to, to do my own thing. I didn't look at them like no send off. Like if they went right. to jail. We scrapping yeah. up bond money if they, you know what I'm saying, lawyer fees, you know what I'm saying, those type of situations, but things people didn't do for me. That's how I got caught up in it so long like this. Yeah, I wanted to know that. Um, because I see a lot of shit on the internet. 
You know, I'm not gonna lie, to be honest with you, I seen some shit that a billionaire from McDonald's, I think that was the CEO, right? Yeah. Said she wasn't really raising him. You know, they said some real tough shit about him. Yeah. You know, he did. White guy. Mm hmm. Kind of insinuating he ain't raised your daughter right or something like that. Um, make it feel? Uh, honestly. It didn't really make me feel no way due to the fact that I just witnessed and went through the same type of tear down with the black community. Like, so when I heard from a white person, you know, I already know that that's how they look at us anyway. But it stirred up more drama with me and my baby mama. Like, me and my baby mama was on, like, a mutual. We weren't talking. You know what I'm saying? But we wasn't arguing either. Right. It's like once he put that out there, she felt like as if. Flamed it back up. You know what I'm saying? Like, now nah, I ain't feel nobody. Ooh, she wasn't supposed to be with her daddy, like, whole time. You know what I'm saying? So I really just want to address that, and a motherfucker do need an apology from the McDonald's CEO because he sat down with the Toledo family and gave them an apology, and he went and asked him and said that he was going to sit down with our family, but he never did. Yeah. So it really didn't affect Toledo, me. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it really didn't affect me. I just don't like that. It, it, it caused the spiral events with me and my baby mama led to us arguing again, her doing a WGCI interview and things of that nature. So I see you. you know what I'm saying? And that was all from them text messages that him and Lori like for a leave. How is you and moms, though? You know, not to get too deep in your business, though, but I think that is something, you know, uh, I want to ask you for the viewers because I want to be transparent with the viewers. They give me likes, they give me comments and subscribers, so I got to reward them with asking these type of questions. Mm -hmm. you know? That kind of really fucked up the relationship, man. Yeah, 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 it did. It definitely did. Um, And, like, our relationship... Like, we have a love-hate relationship, not even necessarily a hate relationship. You know how baby mama baby did shit. I, I love my baby mama to death. Let's make that shit clear. I love her to death. Still to the day, nothing but love for her. I don't hate her. I do want to take the time apologize to her. No yeah. bullshit. Um, for even just stepping out of character and I'm knowing she just uh, she was a grieving mother even at her WGCI interview. And just me being not in my right state of mind when I did WGCI, I know how it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I just want to apologize for her for, 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 for stepping out of my character as a man. I should have just stayed, you know, humble, let her go through her phases or whatever. But I apologize, my baby mom. Love her to death. Yeah, it's hard grieving and being on the internet and things. Yeah, that. yeah. No bullshit. I had to learn the hard way. Like, certain shit I had to turn down. And I had to learn that, you know, it's it's it's, it's stories. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's certain people's jobs. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't walk into everybody. Everybody don't care. You know what I'm saying? Some right. people just want a story. But it's up to you to get up here, you know? You know, I heard Lil Reese. Hassan Campbell, Willie D. I think I even heard Meek Mill say some shit about this. Yeah. How do you um, feel about all that? All these people that directly saying shit about you. Honestly, um, okay, with the Willie D situation and the um the Hashan Campbell situation, big platform. they they are, and I really don't fuck with neither. One. I don't fuck with neither one of them okay. because I feel like they um culture vultures, and I feel like they really. Y'all not y'all don't really know what's going on in Chicago to even speak on something like you know what I'm saying with half of the details. But um, the Meek Mill situation, Meek Mills was different because Meek Mills is a guy who I actually follow. I follow on Instagram. I don't follow niggas like you know what I'm saying. I follow Meek Mill, his music. I've been fucking with him since Dream Tracer One. You know what I'm saying. So his music was very like he talking about how hip hop inspires the culture. His music was like that for me. Like you know what I'm saying. He was somebody I looked up to. But now once a, once he said things of that nature about run down on me. Like, you know, I follow him on Instagram. I see that, I, I really, you know. I really can't fuck with him no more because I see what type of guy you is. And for you to be on the level you are, how you going to tell some other... You you telling niggas to kill a nigga who just lost his daughter? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, granted, I went about it probably wrong in the beginning. Oh, that's what I wanted to ask you. know? Okay. Do you kind of understand a little bit why they might have felt like that? Um, I can understand why people... Probably the looked at me. came strong when it happened. Yeah. That you know, I don't want to sit here in front of front of you. Too, okay. The internet kind of said that the rich way was a banger. He tough. You know, they said that you was going to grave sites and shit. <laughs> you spoke on that and said yeah. that wasn't you, but I'm just telling you the internet rumor. Yeah. So it did kind. That's why I say that it was. Hell. I made a video where I snapped on you, Rich. I, I snapped. I'm going to be honest with I you. Sent the, I sent it out. See, you, also gave, you also gave me the chance to come back and explain myself. Right, because I understood. I had a talk with someone who was older than me who told me, you know, that's, that young brother went through some shit, you know? Yeah. I had a pass too tonight, Rich, you mm -hmm. know? So I think we didn't give you a chance to speak. Yeah, like, um, 
the internet just was on. Um, I mean, I feel, I really feel like, honestly, like I, I said, some, some of my videos I can't even watch, honestly. No bullshit. So I know how disturbing it was to others. Cause some, some of them, I go to them like, let me see, and then I'll be like, damn, like you know, sure, you weren't even in your right state of mind. But that's what I need the people to know. All the fans know. Everybody who wants to support me to know that I wasn't in my right state of mind. You have to take that in accountability. I just lost my daughter. She was gunned down in front of me. Nothing I was doing was probably really me. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get it twisted. Like, I remember everything I said. I didn't say nothing incriminating about no nobody that I care about or nothing. But me, it was all an act. It was all me just trying to be strong for the internet. And I just came to the realization that I don't have to be strong or weak for the internet. I could grieve in private. You know what I'm saying? If I ain't, I, ain't, I don't have to get on the internet to do anything. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's all a learning process for me. Like, you know, I'm still learning how the internet work. Was it important? I want to know this some real shit. Well, that shit felt special. Was it important? And did that really? Did you really appreciate the fact that it was a lot of hate towards Rich? Okay, mm -hmm. but Steve Harvey embraced you. Yeah. Was that that was important? Right? Yeah, it was. It was real important because um, that's part of the reason why I couldn't um, I can't get I I still can't get out and indulge into nothing, and I'm still trying to separate myself because. Um, like they said, Steve Harvey had told me personally, like, you know, they didn't want to take a chance, like, the folks, they didn't want to do the show, you know what I'm saying, due to everything, the commotion around it, and PPPs, and they didn't really want to come back and bite them in the ass, if I got out here and caught a murder, now I'm on the news, right. and Steve Harvey, you done gave me a, a, another, you know what I'm saying, right. so, I'm really just, you know, I definitely appreciate it, because it opened doors to other big platforms that, you know what I'm saying, that I have a lot of business opportunities I'm working with. Organizations in my community, from East Chicago to, um, right. women domestic violence groups, like, I'm involved in a lot of stuff off That's Steve dope. Harvey. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of mentoring and stuff. Like, you know, I thought that was dope that he looked past a lot of shit. Yeah. And seen to as a black man. I thought that was dope. Now, Steve Harvey kind of convinced me too, Rich. And that, you know? Appreciate it. To say, you know, people have a past. They go through shit. But like, can I say something real quick? Um... I got to put uh, Leon Rodgers on blast too, man. Okay. Cause, because I asked Leon Rodgers recently, like a week ago. You know how WCI, yeah, I, the band, really you know, the, they, the same people gave me an interview. The same people gave my baby mama an interview. You. Now, I asked him recently, two weeks ago. You know, we followed each other on Instagram. I asked him two weeks ago. I said, bro, give me a chance to get up here and apologize to my baby mama. Nothing else. He told me, um, let me check with my people and see if they'll let me do it. But did they have to check with you to get me up there or to get my baby mama up there? Like... You know we gonna you know don't we can't be acting like we for the for the coach and then when the motherfucker actually do something and want to put something in perspective to change the narrative, you shut me down. So yeah, I just want to call him out on that, and I know they are gonna blackball me on WGCI mm. forever. Yeah, that's crazy, that, you know. It it be like that sometimes, you know. Yeah. I want to get your opinion on some shit. You know, I think you're the perfect person to ask these type of questions. It's things that went down in the culture, not rich. Uh -huh. You know, I don't really want to involve you in other people's situations, but I don't know nobody else better than ass than you. Mm -hmm. NBA Youngboy recently released a song dissing King Von, Lil Durk, O Block. He talking about smoking packs. O Block responded, videos, burning brads, diss songs. And the reason I asked you this, because it seemed like a lot of this stemmed from like rap music. Mm -hmm. You didn't been through incidents in rap music. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that whole argument? Uh, I think um, I look at okay. A lot of people say King Von, the Tupac of the generation. I think a lot of kids say that. Like okay. kids love King Von. They love NBA Young Boy, but I feel like King Von situation it was like a um, Tupac and Biggie situation, not a sacrifice situation, but it became some. Some it was real, and then it became fake. Everything that's going on after it, I believe, is fake. And I believe the money pictures, all that going back and forth shit, they advertising it. And that's what some people consider sacrifice. Like, if you sacrifice a king death shit for fame, or you're going to really get to get back and keep it real. So I feel like it's all trolled. I feel like it's all social media. And that people like Dirk and NBA Young Boys really need to um, step up and, and, and let the people know that it's social media. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let the people know that it's social media. Let the people know that ain't nobody dying behind because ain't nobody dying behind Vaughn. So it has to be cap. They selling. You know what I'm saying? We got to act, stop acting like controversy and beef don't sell. Like a lot of people fake beefs. Drake and Kanye just did it uh -huh. without the gun. So let's stop acting oh, like, you know. You kind of fuck me up with that. You say they fake the beef. They, fake, they just fake the beef. They just did a whole song together. Uh -huh. They got their album sales going and all that shit. And they, 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 they went number one. They did all that. Don to Drake. 
oh, sexy lovers, whatever the shit is. But what I'm saying is like they selling the shit. And I feel like dirt sacrificing Vaughn for the numbers. Like, and I'm not, it's a business move. Granted, he can't move any type of way. Now we speak our man. You know what I'm saying? Now. That's what I'm show, saying. Like, speak our man, he can't move any type of way. He can't just be out here with guns and shit. And it's certain, certain, it's certain ways to move about it. People tell me the same thing. Like, oh, um, you sacrificing your daughter to death for clout. Like, no, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to make something better out of it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, it's, people look at sacrifice in so many ways. And like, you know what I'm saying? Social media and shit like that. So, I just believe it's all trolling. And I believe Young Boy the label's paying Young Boy the troll. Uh, I want to get your opinion on another situation. I didn't ask you this, but this happened like before I interviewed you, but I didn't ask you this at that time. I want to ask you now, because it's rap beef related again. Mm -hmm. Police is alleging FBG Duck lost his life due to a rap beef or a dispute over rap shit, you know? They're claiming that, you know, some guys from old block allegedly did it. That ain't where I'm going. What I want to ask you is, when you're out here doing them rap beats and, you know, you dissing the ops and shit, I mean, you can't really be outside, bro. Hell no. Nah. Yeah. Hell no, nah, you can't really be outside. It's like, especially if they get the, um, the type of attention. You know what I'm saying? They start getting them fucking 50s and 60,000 views and right. in your neighborhood. Now you're a local rapper. Once you start getting 50, 60,000, now you got them probably known from the whole out west. Like, you know what I'm saying? The whole out south if you're in that 60,000. But that's a lot. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, right. So imagine yeah. getting millions of views on some shoulda ducked or, uh, you know what I'm saying? Smoking out the band type shit. But so... Oh uh, yeah, I believe that the 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 the, the, the this rapping do play a part in it because like I say, most people not just rapping. Mm. Most motherfucker, as you can see, like from the move up in them situation, the shit that they rap eventually got them incarcerated. Even shit like people saying that I rapped about. Like I got some of my uh so called ops under my videos and oh yeah, niggas shouldn't be dropping this songs. Like he, after my daughter died, like this what they saying got my daughter killed. Like he knew what he was doing. He was making this or. When he Damn. said that, so I know for a fact that rap, rap dissing is, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like. They be real? Yeah, it's real. No bullshit. It's definitely real. Like, because the motherfucker listening and once you say certain names or like, and the motherfucker just putting two to two, two to get, like, he dissing who else? That's band. what I'm saying. So the drill rap, that shit do be talking about something, but only they really know, right? Yeah, only, only your people uh -huh. gonna know. Only your people gonna know, like, um. Rest in peace, my homie to Pluto. You know what I'm saying? Pluto dissed a lot, but and his shit got a lot, a lot of proof. That's what led to him. That's Pluto two times. Pluto right? two. That's what led to people like um, I ain't saying like nothing disrespectful from the Pronto Spaz out they crews and the, the the B gangs and like Pluto two times had a lot of hate from people who got as the SBG chemos. Like you know what I'm saying? Because of drill rap dissing a did and you know what I'm saying? So, and it eventually led up to. You know what I'm saying? The people joked about it. He was dissing or ooh, ooh, ooh. And they come, when they come back to bite you, it's justified. Like, you know what I'm saying? Once you involve yourself in things of that nature. But it definitely played a major part, though. Mm, that's crazy. Uh, I want to ask you another question. Now, this is a tough one. Mm -hmm. It's a line strategy, you know? Uh, and I wasn't going to ask you this question. But for some reason, I got you in this chair again. And I'm going to just shoot for it, okay? And I'm going to ask you this, and I'm going to ask you without being policey, mm -hmm. but I am going to ask you. Um, like, what's your wish list for the shooters? You know, because when I looked in the newspaper, it said they caught everyone allegedly. Like, what's your wish list for this? Um, Is that a tough question to ask? No, it's not. It's honestly not, uh, because... Like they like the guys who who involved in my baby's killing, they know how I am, and they know what I stand for. Like on multiple cages, I done told these guys before they was incarcerated. Well, one of them, the lead driver, I told them a few times I respect how you move and everything, but I also always tell people that it's certain do's and don'ts. Like I, that's just how I am. I'm thirty, like I I move a different way. Like so, in this situation, like the same way I had to be an example, and I like they they are example. Like you know what I'm saying? Like the police really own. Kids shooting, like, and, and kid gun violence. Like, it's, I hate to say it, that I have to be, the like, one of the face people for that. My daughter has to be a poster child for it. And it's sad to say that three young men probably will never see the streets again and have to be an example to let other shooters know to think twice when they do see a child on the corner playing or when they do see women outside pushing their strollers. Like, get them people a pass. Like, all I really want to do is bring discipline back to the streets. Like, you know, the game code, but it's fell. 
Like, I'm not telling people, I do say put the gun down, but we know that's not reality, but at least we can make it safe for the kids to play again. Damn. Mm. You know, I heard a diss song about you in an incident you had. Right. I hear the artist in here, shout out Montana Bay, but I hear Montana Bay in here. Now, I don't know y'all relationship mm -hmm. or nothing, you know, but I interviewed him and he seemed like a cool dude. And I told him that I interviewed you and I thought you were a cool dude. Mm -hmm. Um, but he did have a rap song that I asked him about and I interviewed. Mm -hmm. Kind of spoke on you. How do you feel about them type of videos? Oh, uh, do you understand? Or is it fair game? I mean, ain't nothing like, I ain't gonna lie. I don't, only thing that's probably fair in my situation, like, only thing I could really understand is people be like, uh, oh, he should have died in the beginning. Oh, it should have been you. You should have took the bullets. I felt all that shit, and I kind of, I kind of understood all that. But once you start mocking it, it's like, what you mocking? I'm breathing. It's sad to say, sometimes I hate that I'm breathing. You know what I'm saying? I wish my baby could be here, and it was me. You know what I'm saying? But what are you mocking? You didn't get me. I'm breathing. I just left Steve Fire. I'm doing truth teller. I just, I'm doing this shit on the regular. It's turning into something. I got a, a, a deal with Tubi. Like, search, like, you know what I'm saying? It's turning to something positive. So, what are you mocking? You justifying killing a child. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, like I said, if that was me dead, that bitch probably would have won 100000 But ain't nobody supporting that. Like, and it just shows you, like, I do know him. But have I ever seen him? No. Like, he's not, uh, honest to God, I'm going to just keep it real. He's not one of them. One of the autos, the, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 the people involved. Because I, I believe he's from out of town or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. But, um, like, it's just like it don't it don't really make me feel no type of way. It's just like, you know, that's what we have to bring, you know, you know, our attention back to. Let them know that that's not cool. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no way in hell you can cry, laugh, and joke about killing a baby. And on top of, let me just say this, if these really your friends, you wouldn't even be speaking on that. Because they're on trial. You wouldn't even be making no diss records about it. Your friends on trial, this lets you know that you're not thinking about the whole situation. You know what I'm saying? So but shout out to him though. Keep grinding. Like, you know what I'm saying? But like, make rap cool again. You ain't got to diss. That's what we got to do. Make rap fun again. Um, you just said something. I don't want I, I kind of want to rewind a little bit. You said something. We kind of do that. Yeah. I just heard Tubi. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm fucking with um. Shout out to him. Uh, I, it's a non disclosure. I can't speak on everything. Okay. But okay. you know what I'm saying? But shout out to him. Like, okay. you know. But that's dope though. You, you, you're working though. Yeah, yeah. Like, it get tiring though, man, but we trying to change the narrative, like you know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, we the second money in 2020. I ain't gonna hold you too long, got a couple more questions for you. Oh, that's right. February 2022. What's this year like? Is this year better than last year? Is it safer out there in Iraq? Is it changing? Do the shorties got it now or is it the same shit? Uh honestly, 2022 actually been a productive year for me. Okay. Um and I honestly feel like with the way, like, the police and shit working, like, like I say, my biggest thing is, like, child gun violence, like, because I lost my daughter. Like, I ain't, I, I can't really get into grown men and what we gonna do. Our man's already made up in the street, but, mm. you know what I'm saying? My whole focus is really the kids, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Let's get the kids back outside, get them off their tablets, get them back in the parks outside. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let the police do their job, patrol, protect the kids. That's all I'm really on, like, you know what I'm saying? So, but, um, 22 definitely been decent, like, I, and I believe... The message is getting pushed. Like, after my daughter, I believe the police did kind of put their foot down on children killers because they had got, they, they arrested a few more. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I believe those type of examples. Examples got to be, you know, set for, made for directions to be followed. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I believe 22 looking kind of good, though. Mm -hmm. You going to stay on the right path on this way, man, Rich? I feel you going to stay on the right path. Man, you told Steve you were staying on the right path, Yeah, Rich. I mean, no lie. Um... The more I do it, like, no laugh. First, I ain't want to do it. Uh, Like, in the beginning, when I was doing all the laughs and people thought I didn't give a fuck about my baby dying and shit. Uh, believe it or not, I was going through a phase of uh, seeing what I actually wanted to do. Part of me wanted to crash out. I'm going to keep it real with you. Part of me wanted to crash out and part of me wanted to stay here for my kids. But you know what I'm saying? The more every day I get um, a black, a young black guy in my inbox, literally, from probably from California, St. Louis, from Detroit, and they'll just be asking me shit like, how you get through this, or, uh, bro, keep pushing, we looking up to you, or, and the more I got that, it became something that I fell in love with, that's why I released music, you see me doing podcasts and talking more than anything, because I fell in love with what God wanted me to do, like, if this was gonna help other motherfuckers stay out here, 
and think twice about how they living, then so be it. Like this, this is what it is. And that's why we need more of the little dirks and them to say the same shit, bro. Yeah. All that burning them flags and shit in them old blocks and shit like you just talking about. Believe it or not, bro, a nigga gonna do anything to stay by the bag. Little dirk the bag. All you gotta look, bro. We ain't gotta do that. We still gonna eat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's that simple. Everybody got role models. Every child, everybody got somebody they look up to. Everybody got somebody who could tell them to do something. They gonna do it. This is what role model and mentoring come in at. Your, your son look up to you. You can tell your son, even if your son don't want to play basketball, you can make him play basketball. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got somebody under them like that, and it's hard time to take them by their wing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And show them a different way. Hey, that's real shit, Rich. I ain't gonna lie. You kind of fuck my head up a little bit with some of this shit, man. Um, I want to ask you this, and then I'm off of this. This is one thing I want to ask you, though. Because I've seen something about this, and I think you're a good person to ask, too. Is Drew a rap? causing some of the problems. Yeah. It is? Yeah, due to the fact that we so emotionally tied to music. Bro, you gotta pick up how, how, how emotionally tied black people we is to music. Like, that's our, we don't talk to therapists. We we go right to music. Like, whether we feeling down, we gonna listen to Mary. Uh. If we feel like killing. If somebody blew us, we gonna probably cut on Vaughn, Dirk, Young Boy, Sly, FBG, Duck. Like, we too emotionally attached to music for that not to be affecting us like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, how many times you heard a song that made you cry, actually? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, bro. for real, for real, like, so and we, that's what I'm, we got to emotionally detach from that shit, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I other ways to grieve, we got to stop grieving through killing and uh -huh. shit. That's how we grieving. Uh -huh. Through killing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Music yeah, and man. killing and shit, like, and whole time we really ain't grieving because, you know, no bullshit. Like, it took for my daughter, bro. Like, I just really started grieving once I sat back, stayed off the internet and really understood what was going on with my daughter. Yeah. So now I'm feeling consequences and repercussions from every homie. I done lost because I'm seeing them like, damn, sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is how you was living. All this led up to this. And once you really get to that point and you lose enough, you will see that it ain't really worth nothing. Like, no bullshit. This shit ain't really about shit. The bankroll, the money more important than anything. Take care of your kids, your family. Uh, so, shit, yeah, this with your own prevention, the working with kids. Did you, you retire from the music? Oh, uh, no. No, I'm okay. just saying, um, somebody else is asking me this. But no, I'm just not chasing no, um, music contract. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really chasing no music contract. I love being able to release music whenever I want to. You know what I'm saying? I'm dealing with a manager and, like, ain't no IOUs, ain't no loans, ain't no, you know what I'm saying? And But the bag presenting itself through these type of opportunities. So I feel like I could get the bag, you know what I'm saying, getting on these podcasts and, you know what I'm saying, doing the other shit. And you think, is, is, is people still willing to fuck with the music, though? You don't feel a black ball shit on you? I asked you that last time. Uh, you let up some and you still feel it. No, honestly... With the music, cause I ain't really been paying attention to it, but I know the black ball shit real just off certain shit that I'd have had. Uh, like, you know, I'd have had arguments with Lizzie Osama before. Like, a lot of Chicago artists, and like I say, the WGC, Leon Raj, and them I know just off falling out with them. You yeah, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna eat right. me up. Ain't no radio play popping out. Ain't, so, yeah, but I ain't... I'm seeing other artists go through it. That's why I ain't really, you know what I'm saying, pushing because I know how it is. Everybody got who they fuck with, so... But I definitely see a lot of underrated artists going through that shit, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Was, yeah, uh, the internet pulled you and Zay in. Uh. Yeah, yeah, he, um, we had some, um, some words back and forth. It started with me asking him for a feature. I still got all our DMs. It started with me asking for a feature. He gave me the price. Uh, I believe it was like five bucks, and he said it was going to go up to like 7500 if I ain't carrying the day. But then shot with my baby, and he spoke on it. You know what I'm saying? He said the same shit. I'll do that. It's a goofy motherfucker. Need to smoke him. Woo, woo, and I inbox the nigga. And he was exposed our messages. You know what I'm saying? The shit went viral. I was getting down on top of crazy to him type shit. But right. you know, so I just know off the the memos, the 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 the, the Reese's. You know what I'm saying? Them type of people who call me goofies and shit like that. That shit gonna go a long way just off the fact yeah. that BD's holding it down for Chicago on the music side. Yeah, that's crazy. I appreciate talking to you, man. I want to know what you got coming out, man. You got any anything that people can look forward to? Anything that people can support? Uh, I got a few more uh podcasts dropping. I'm finna start a podcast. No I bullshit. I just seen you in one. Like I think you was getting help cut or something. Oh yeah, that was Chop Talk TV. Okay. Um, I just finished working with No No Cap. Okay. It's a few few podcasts I'm doing. Like I say, uh, the shit with Tubi. I'll be on the lookout for that. I can't get into okay. detail, but I'm filming in June. You know, so we looking for actors. No bullshit. Like if okay. anybody into acting, the lady I'm fucking with, they open to everything. So you know, hit me, Rich Ray Teller. Yeah, I think that's dope. Where they gonna get up with you? What's all your social media? Richway, tell us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. 
No bullshit. You got, you got a YouTube channel yep. that people can subscribe to. Um, I think you know what I want to cut you out, but I think you should start telling your story on your own YouTube channel. I was thinking about. It. I be I be kind of shy to do that though. No, mm -hmm. like, I be watching everybody do it. I think everybody will listen to this shit, man. I think if anybody can listen to, it, I think you got a dope, a real authentic story. I appreciate it. And I'm also writing a book. I'm actually writing a book. I'm probably on like yeah. my fourth chapter. A lot of people been telling me to write a book. I had started it, so. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. So okay. yeah, I'm doing a lot of shit that I ain't, you know. Oh yeah, and Monday I'll be on the radio on Spotify with a new Valentine's Day single. So um, oh, yeah, 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 I got okay. something dropping Monday. It ain't no video, but some people just uh, approved me to go on a list for a Valentine's playlist. So yeah, okay. definitely gonna be sharing it. What you say the social media is again? Uh, Richway Tiller, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Follow me, man. Man, I appreciate speaking with you. No bullshit. Before we get up out of here, last thing I want to add, you Tiller, give up upcoming. You know, just not even an upcoming artist, a, a young nigga in Chicago, man. He he just out here, you know. He don't even got, he don't even know what the hell he doing, man. I got a son. He gonna be thirteen soon. Mm -hmm. Like, what you telling my son, Rich? No last stay in school. Listen to your pops. Your pops got some some good going. Your pops setting up a legacy for you. Like you know what I'm saying. So all you really got to do is go to school, get good grades, and the way this going, shit, this gonna get left to you. And that's all it's about. Got that mm -hmm. generational wealth creating generational wealth and breaking generational curses and mm -hmm. you in the midst of breaking the curse right now like the way you operating more we all need to be operating you know what i'm saying we all need to be setting our kids up with this type of stuff like tapping into their they futures and they and they talents and shit early you know what i'm saying before they hit 18 because the normal team man made up by like 13 mm -hmm. like if the daddy ain't around like you dope you always around like but if your daddy ain't around like 13 that's something your man made up you probably already sick and tired of school you um, know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. Like, damn, really? So, yeah, like, no bullshit. Just, you know, 13, bro. Stay focused, stay in school. Like, find somebody to gravitate to who you can learn from. Like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody who's going to tell you right from wrong. You know what I'm saying? No mm. bullshit. And about it, listen to your parents at all times. I appreciate that. I want the world to know, man. That's why we got Rich Way back again a second time. Because we ain't going to follow the trends out here, man. We're going to set our own trends and we snapping that. Rich and went through shit, but I think this brother can turn his life around. True tell the TV staff it. For sure, for sure, man. man appreciate the love. Love, huh? Joe. Blah, 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 blah. Appreciate you, man. Love, bro. Love, man. You be hey. safe, bro.